Hello guys, uh, welcome to Lohar Talk and this is my very first video tutorial on D3. In this tutorial we will discuss about uh, what is D3, why we use D3 and uh, when and where we can use D3 and uh, we will also discuss some features and we'll see some examples of D3. So let's first discuss uh, what is D3. Uh, D3 stands for Data Driven Documents and uh, it is an open source JavaScript library developed by Mike Bostock to create a custom interactive data visualization in web browser using scalar vector graphics, HTML and CSS. So why it's called data driven? Because in D3 we can use static data as well as we can fetch data from remote server in any format such as array, object, CSV, JSON, XML etc. to create different type of charts. So moving to the next slide. So why we use D3? Uh, because with the massive amount of data being generated today, communicating this information is getting difficult. So visual representation of data are the most effective means of conveying meaningful information to the user. Plus D3 provides a great deal of ease and flexibility to create this data visualization. And it is dynamic, intuitive and needs minimum amount of efforts. Plus it's open source and JavaScript library. So moving to the next slide, when you should use D3. Uh, suppose if you have a massive amount of data and you want to represent them with a graphical representation then I think D3 is a perfect solution for you. So next is where is D3 used? As discussed D3 is JavaScript library so we need to use at front end part of our application. Moving to the next slide, let's discuss some of the D3 features. Uh, D3 uses web standards. So it makes full use of modern uh, web standards like SVG, HTML and CSS to create a data visualization. D3 is a data driven, uh, I think this point is already covered and uh, uh, DOM manipulation. D3 allow you to manipulate the document object module based on your data. Data driven elements means it empowers your data to dynamically generate elements and apply style to element be it a table, a graph or any other HTML or group of elements type of visualization with d3 there are no standard visualization format but it enable you to create anything from html table to pie chart from graphs to bar chart to generate geospatial maps uh, transitions d3 provide the transition function this is quite powerful because internally d3 works out the logic to interpolate between your value and find the irregular state Next is interaction and animation. D3 provides a great support for animation with function like duration, delay and ease function. Let's see what kind of graph we can uh, create using D3. So these are very simple graph, bar graph and line graph. So in upcoming video I will be showing how we can create a bar graph, line graph, area chart using D3. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope guys uh, you like this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. So in next video tutorial I will be discussing some of the basic syntax of D3. Thank you.